An 11 year old. Observe that. An 11 year old is in custody in connection with a violent crime spree in DC. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez live tonight. Okay. An 11 year old. Observe that. An 11 year old is in custody in connection with a violent crime spree in DC. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez live tonight in DC's Parkview neighborhood of Northwest. And Steph, what are these reports revealing tonight? Well, Marina, Jim, the police report says in the most recent incident that the suspect went to the victim's car window and allegedly said, give me your phone or I'll shoot you. And then a later allegedly said, ha ha, I got you, but still ended up robbing the victim, according to police. All three incidents connected to this one suspect happened within several blocks of one another. In okay, this so for those of you who don't know, this is a stone's throw up the block. This is Georgia Avenue. If you walk down this street three blocks, not even three, maybe two, you're on the Howard University campus. Okay? So salute to um salute to um JL. He says, shout out to Oc Nation panelists and chat members for keeping it real. This is one of the few places left on social where you can have this kind of honest discussion. Yeah, salute to you, man. Thank you for hitting the PayPal Cash App or the super chat, man. Salute hey, to all I'll you guys, man. Like how far is uh, King Drive from here? Oh, well, King Drive is in the southeast. It's very far. Martin Luther King um, Avenue is in southeast DC. It's, it's far from here. Yeah. All three incidents mm. connected to this one suspect happened within several blocks of one another in this Parkview neighborhood here in Northwest D.C. With the first one happening just blocks away, steps away, I should say, from where we are over by Georgia and Lamont Street Northwest. It was Sunday, May 21st at around 2.45 in the afternoon when police say the suspect approached a victim and tried to rob them. When the victim didn't hand over their property... Remember I told you there's a lot of these dudes walking around D.C.? Man, there are a lot of these little motherfuckers, man. Um, and because there's no consequences, it's more than it usually would be. Like, the, you're always going to have the bad kids. You know, the kids that don't care about spending six months in juvie, the kids that don't, you know, wayward and have all the issues that the, all the liberals talk about, family and mental health. But now you got the little bitch ass motherfuckers that wouldn't bust a grape normally, that are fucking, fucking snitch in the back of a squad car. They snitch it before they get to the station. They snitch it in the back of the squad car. Press one, Crook County. They snitching, the little motherfuckers that snitching in the back of the squad car on the way to the station. Those motherfuckers is now sticking guns in people's faces. Yeah, yeah. Once they once they sober up, they all crying and shit. Yeah, you got you got those motherfuckers out here putting guns in your face and taking your car. Shit fucked up out here. Five in the afternoon. <laughs> man, well, shit, say get a four local and you do anything, man. And tried to rob them. When the victim didn't hand over their property, police say the suspect showed a gun, robbed the person, and ran. Laura Murray tells Fox 5 she's lived in this city all her life. I don't know what to make of it. I know it's nobody there that loves him. No one has shown him any love. <clears throat> him any, anything. That's poor shit. That's the same thing the mother of um, Arena. Arena, 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 Hey, this That's woman would vote shit. for Andre, though, right? Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. She would well, fucking pass out flyers and all that shit. Well, I, what about Derek Chauvin? What if he had some stupid shit going on, too, you know? What if Derek Chauvin oh, wasn't in love? No. no excuses. No excuses. He's white. He knows better. He knows this better. Is, um, but but this, this right here, this whole shit right here, this whole, that's horse shit, man. And motherfuckers, motherfuckers had love, man. All, all the little boys that I knew, even the the, the one that I, we did the story on the other day, um, that that guy who did all them carjackings and and and, and shot the people um, on the train and shit, and did and fell and broke his gun. That that story we did yesterday, that motherfucker, as hard as he grew up and as rough as he grew up, he had motherfuckers, somebody, a grandmother, an auntie. Somebody that showed him love, that fucking love his relative, and changed and changed his little shitty diaper. Listen, man, listen. If somebody changed your little shitty diaper when you poop, 
If somebody fix you a meal, if somebody fucking kiss your boo boos, if somebody fucking provide a fucking place for you to sleep at night, if somebody fucking make sure your ass is in the house at a certain time, that's love, motherfucker. Somebody Man. know where the fuck you is at all time. Somebody sign a permission slip for you to go to the fucking airspace museum with the rest of your classmates. These motherfuckers have, they try to make it seem like these motherfuckers are raised by wolves. It's not true. These motherfuckers they, got love, man. They are raised by wolves, though. Press one. <laughs> yeah, but these motherfuckers have, these motherfuckers have love, man. I think yeah, they say, no one love is relative, love. too, Chief, anyway, you know? I think when they say they don't have love, I think they mean the, the white supremacist system doesn't love them, is probably what they're referring to. Well, no, 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 no. They what? have love. They just don't have any fear. They don't have any fear of, of the police, of God, of their parents, of authority. That's all it is. There's no fear anymore. It ain't about well, love. Well, they learned that from somewhere. They learned that like a fear from somewhere. What right, they, right, they, right. What's they got fear they, they got fear of their gang. The gang is a structure. Right. They, they definitely fear, fear that. Well, true. Yeah, the gang. gang. I'm talking about yeah, the gangs is taking over the children. I'm talking about like. Let me tell you something daddy, about the gang. You know, daddy. Let me tell you something ass. about the gang, though. Let me tell you something about the gang, about these little gangs. And and, and I seen this growing up. I've been to court a bunch of times, man, as a young person and as a young adult. And I sat in there. Well, so a lot of times, my case, they always had my case late in the docket. So I'd always had to sit there all day and watch everybody else's case. The only person that's there for these little fucking savages. K killer, baby K, whatever the fuck his name is, how many bodies he got. When he in that fucking courtroom, it's only one motherfucker there with his ass. Your and mama. That's his motherfucking mama. I was gonna say the grandma. And when he get or the grandma, and when right, he in thing. jail and he go on visits, these little motherfuckers don't have baby mothers yet. When he go on visits. That motherfucker's mama coming up to see his ass. <clears throat> Ain't no fucking game. Ain't no fucking game. The only no. gang is on the street and in the print in, 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 in the joint. But as far as like support from the outside world, counting on your books, it's your his fucking mother. And when she no dies, that's it. No it's nobody. Him. Right. <laughs> it's it's gonna be your mama or a mustard. The same motherfucker. This woman saying he ain't had no love. I seen all these motherfuckers. It's their mama who allegedly don't love them sitting in court, fucking watching that motherfucker get fucking fifty years and shit. Grant Laura Murray tells Fox Five she's lived in this city all her life. I don't know what to make of it. I know it's nobody there that loves him. No one has shown him any love, taught him any anything about respecting himself. Then on Wednesday, May 24th, police say two suspects on bicycles approached the victim on the 700 block of Irving Street. The victim pushed one of the suspects and ran, telling police while running away, they saw one suspect point a gun in their direction. Chad Henry tells Fox 5 he was once almost a victim. Yeah, around Christmas time, just walking home from the mall, um, and I just kind of checked over my shoulder and was like, oh, I'm being, I'm being followed. You know, there's a lot of crime in this neighborhood, unfortunately. A lot of young crime, too. Then this past Friday on Luray Place, police responded to a suspect approaching a victim again on a bicycle and reaching into a fanny pack as if they were armed. Police say they robbed another victim a neighbor on the street who asked not to be identified said this. And you're talking about 11 year olds? I mean, they're getting younger and younger. You know, something has to give and it has to start not with the children, but with the officials. Well, with start the with a bullet. I want to know what the punishment is. And I don't think it should be, oh, I, he can get in and then he can get right out. Uh, putting kids in the system at a young age with no proper rehabilitation. Rehabilitation programs, I don't think, really works. Um, I Jesus hope you get robbed. Hope you really and see, that's the racist. problem. They're they're they do lesson, it right there. He, he, see, he just as eager as a little dog. <laughs> she, even, even the mama, even I mean, that mama, the um, the old lady, even though she was like, he need love, blah blah blah, she still don't want that little negro out. 
No, she do. Because <laughs> yeah, she does. I was she yeah, does. That's the problem. She would never started that statement off saying he needs love and attention and people like. I mean, that's just what they say anyway. Because that's what you. That's what you automatic think. Like a child doing this, they must ain't getting no love at home. You know, you yeah, think. That's what that's yeah, that's what I women. Think. That's what women think. Men, that's what women think. Yeah, because as a mom, as a mother, you be like, gosh, they do they mama. Because love them or father love them, you do think that first, but she still won't believe that he should get locked up. But does this that happen? Does she vote for that? Yeah. We don't know. Hell, who curls? Stop it. We know. So guess we, what? Know. we know. Maybe. Yeah. I does doubt it. No, no, no. Brown sugar, I'm sorry. We know. Yeah. Brown sugar. Her, 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 oh, her saying kidding. those words, does that help her at all? Help the situation? Was she saying he needs love or anything? Does that help the situation? They always say that on the news. I didn't ask you that. I'm just saying, does that help the situation? Huh? Does it help the situation? Yeah. Does, does it, it solve situation? the problem? Well, what I want to know is where the daddy is. You want to ask well, you like know where he, the he love? Left. You don't. You don't want to know. You don't want to know where the daddy is. Trust me. He left because it was her son, husband. He probably got tired of dealing with both of them. But the female saying that he need love and attention and all that shit, that need to stop. They need to stop saying that dumb shit. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything at this point. Nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's a Father, mother, father, family structure need that shit in place, and he needed to have a, a more uh, back. That, that they always say, <laughs> "Yo, are you new here, dude? Have you not heard Ox philosophy on what you just said?" Motherfuckers need handcuffs on, man. If I was still working, it's, throw the handcuffs right. on him and throw his ass in the jail. Like it's that's right. not a hard hey, concept. Hey, guy, guy who said father and said? mother. Yeah, did, have I, you I been mean, here before? Have you heard Ox philosophy on the father and mother thing? No, I ain't. Mm, you know what? It'll break your heart. Fuck it up. Well, isn't that it what, is it what most women say? Isn't that the first thing a lot of women will say that that you know the kid needs love? Because isn't that isn't that, their, isn't that their default to say that? They say that about other people's kids. Yeah, that kid, yeah. Needs uh, the kid yeah. needs yeah. structure. The kid needs discipline. He needs the. That's uh, all they fall under love. He needs the ass whooping. All they falls under love. Do they say about their kids or do they say about other people's kids? Hmm. True. I'm gonna be honest, guys. That kid is hopeless. I'm sorry. He's whenever, hopeless. You know, whenever you know, whenever the lawyer, uh, uh, that case, something, whenever the lawyer kept saying he's only 15, that's actually that, that, to me that that bolsters the argument that he needs to be he needs to be locked up or preferably killed because if he's doing but, this at 15, imagine he'll do it at 20. Well, the lawyer's yeah, doing the lawyer's path. doing the lawyer's doing a hell of a job though because they 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 trying to get him off. Well, I'm saying, I, 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 I'm saying it, if I was I'm saying if I was a lawyer. Is it, a, is it a, a private lawyer or a public defender who's saying that? Because where are they getting the money for this lawyer? It, it's probably a public defender, man, honestly. That's what I'm does saying. He if ha- I was a judge, does he have a GoFundMe? If, saying, if I was a judge, he kept hearing, I kept hearing that he's 15. It's like, oh, well, really? No, we really got to really deal with him now. Cause we don't want him getting, we definitely don't want him getting out. We don't want him getting, we don't want him, we don't want him existing. If he, you know, murdered, murdered, some, you know, murdered somebody, he needs to be put to death. I mean, what, what, what Cook said earlier, though. Like for them to charge him or whatever as an adult in this, yeah, he probably been on the radar for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like he he's probably suspecting a lot of stuff, and he's known, and that's probably why the judge was so like you know bold is to be like hell no nah, he ain't getting out. I'm not giving him no bail. I ain't shooting this dude no bail. That judge is racist. Exactly, Gee, man. Well, we know we know it's not a sister, Judge. Saying, at this point, uh, good. Uh, hey, you be you be amazed because there's almost like a perver- perverse incentive in some um, some municipalities, and they, and some of them will charge you like you know faster than um, you know anything. Like look look at the uh, the vice president; she was locking people up at record amounts. Man, that that was ages ago. It feels like an eternity ago. It's a new day, my guy. Uh, okay. We're we're, we're, po- we're post George Floyd era. You know, we're trying to we're trying to make it out here. This is the land of the lawless mm-hmm. over here, in Crook County. I don't know if you heard of Kim Fox. Uh, do you have any more stories, or should we do pick a city? And I don't think it should be. Oh, I, he can get in, and then he can get right out. Uh, putting kids in the system at a young age with no proper rehabilitation rehabilitation programs I don't think really works. Um, I think you're almost just pushing them further into a lifestyle that we're trying to get them away from. And it's not just arresting these young people, it's giving them something to do. Why do they keep saying it? 
Hey, hey, hey I, that's, all, that's, all I that's all I was gonna comment on. That's all I was gonna comment on that whole. Um, when I yeah. first got on, that whole burst in they cherry, like that first arrest and shit like that, especially for like little son kids and shit like that. They used to like you know. I used to feel a certain way, like, damn, this your first ever arrest. You know what I'm saying? You're 14, you're 15. I tried not to do it, type, but mm. then I thought about, like, what our teachers used to tell us. We're not putting them in a system. What they used to say about that grade shit when you were walking in that class that first yeah. day? Yeah, you get, you, you, you give, you going to get, give me the grade to give you. You want to tell me what right. grade to you're give you're earning this shit. <laughs> You earning the grade. Yeah. I'm not giving you anything. And yeah, that's yeah. kind of how. And I you want to get bagged though, but the, but as a as a young son, team, you want to get bagged. You can talk about it with your friend. Yeah, man, I got bagged. Yeah, I got they oh, bagged yeah, me last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then want you want to tell that story? But um, let me move along. Salute to Dina, Dina C, man, coming through, man. Um, she says, um. Angel Soul on YouTube. Okay, she says, great show tonight. Uh, thank you. Salute to my man TC, man. He says, the interview was so intriguing. Yeah, shout out to Charles Sandusky, man. That we spoke with would tell me that years past you would see kids waiting in line around the block trying to apply for summer jobs programs and that she doesn't see that anymore. We did reach out to the city to find out how many slots there are open for the summer jobs program and how many young people actually applied. We're also still waiting for a response from the district's attorney general on this 11 year old arrested. But I can tell you, I confirmed with another that this 11 year old did appear in court yesterday 